there, let us stand this morning. I greet you all in the wonderful and precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Welcome to Christ Kingdom Ministries this morning at 94 Spearman Road. Those are watching us via social media, welcome. This is your father's house. Come and rejoice with us this morning. Tune in this morning. Amen. 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 And those that uh, that's here for the first time, can I see by the show of your hands? We welcome you this morning. Amen. Welcome to Christ Kingdom Ministries this morning, where Jesus Christ is Lord, where He gets all the praise, the glory, and the honor, and nobody else. Amen. That's our Lord and our Savior. It is so awesome to be found in the house of the Lord on this very last Sunday of 2023. I want to remind you this morning that throughout 23, the Lord broke through for you. The challenges that you had at the beginning of this year are no more. They are no more. God brought us to and we finished strong. Just as Pastor promised us and encouraged us throughout the year that you're going to finish 2023 strong. We have finished 2023 strong. Amen. And as we come this morning, we're going to give the Lord all the praise, the glory, and the honor that He deserves. Uh, let bow our heads and close our eyes this morning. Father, we come to you in that precious and that mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God. We give you the glory this morning. We give you the praise. Uh, we're here to worship you and to praise you and glorify you because you are our God uh, and we are your children, Father. You you loved us so much, oh God, that you sent your son Jesus down uh, to save us, oh God, to go through the cross of Calvary, Lord, and to redeem us from the curse of sin today. You have set us free, Lord, and whom you have set free is free indeed, oh God, and in the freedom and liberty we worship you this morning. We say, Lord, there is none like you, oh God. We can serve throughout eternity, but then we will find no one like Jesus. Uh, we praise you this morning and we thank Thank you, Jesus, uh, for there is no one like you, my God, for you are our tower of strength, our refuge, uh, you are our friend, our brother, oh God, you are our healer this morning, you are our deliverer this morning, you are our soon and coming King, oh God, in the time of turmoil throughout the earth, oh God, you reign supreme, Father, you still protect us, oh God, you still care for us, oh God, you still guide us, you still bless us, oh God, this morning, we want to give you praise praise this morning to as we come to worship and to praise you, oh God, as we sing along with the praise and worship team, oh God, let our singing be, Lord, uh, acceptable unto thee, oh God, let us shake heaven this morning and let your presence fill this house, oh God, this morning, we give you thanks and we give you appreciation, oh God, in Jesus' precious name we pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody give him praise. Somebody ready to praise God? Hallelujah. Somebody ready to praise Jesus? Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's go. Come on. Put your hands together. And clap. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Good all the time. Come on. All the time. You are good. I say you are good all the time. And all the time. You are good. Sing you are good all the time. And all the time. You are good. Sing you are good all the time. And all the time. You are good. somebody as you take your seats this morning. Welcome. It's a last Sunday morning service. It's a good time to give God some praise. We're still standing. Well, we're sitting. We're still standing. Amen. Welcome. Is there anyone? I know we uh, asked us this morning. Is there anyone visiting us for the first time? That's just come in. Can I see by show of hands? Cool. Just oh, someone with a hand out there. Welcome. Welcome. Bless you, man. Yes, please take note once again, our mother's room at the back of the church and the kids' zone at the classrooms for kids from 1 to 3. On Tuesday, no service. That's where you say, ah. <laughs> On Saturday, there'll be no deliverance ministry. Oh. That's better, yeah. That's good. And next Sunday, there'll be one service at 8.30 a.m. <laughs> but tonight... But tonight, at 10 o'clock, so you better get here at half past nine. If you want to park your car in a decent place, half past nine. And you can start dancing like how Jay was dancing this morning. Dance your way into the house. Amen. I saw that before service, so I'm going to ask Pastor to call him out tonight, and he'll give you a special uh, item. Special announcements, please take note of this. On the 29th of January, our fast begins till the 4th of February, 2024. That's Monday to Friday. Every night we'll meet at the church at 7 p.m. So we'll fast and meet every night at 7 p.m. On Saturday, we'll have a service at 5 p.m. And Sunday, there'll be two services in the morning at 8.30 a.m. And in the afternoon, we'll break our fast at 5 p.m. It is good to start the year off breaking everything that we carried over. And most of it will be broken tonight. Amen. Our church office will open again on the 12th of January. It's currently closed. It will open again on the 12th of January. And please continue to be faithful with your contribution to United in Christ Africa 2025. 2025, 54 nations in one place. Amen. Three pastors from each nation. There's stuff happening behind the scenes that you don't know about. Flights are being arranged. Hotel rooms are being arranged. Pastor knows what he's doing for the week. We have an agenda. It's not hidden. It's going to be exposed to you very soon. So get ready to sow into that. And I'm speaking into your pockets right now because this is the house of God. And for those watching, 2025 has never been done in 100 years. I went back and checked the times. It has been the first time that Africa has seen such a thing. And it is the appropriate time to sow seed into something that has never been done before. Go back a hundred years, and I've seen the prophecies, but the Lord was waiting for one man to rise up. He was waiting for a group of people to say, I'll stand with that man. He's waiting for a united people that will say, it's not my church, it's a united in Christ thing. Amen. 
We're putting the word back in the pulpit in 2025. So if you stand with me, I want to just speak to you about your tithes and offering as you give it the last Sunday of the month. The Lord has blessed you. I know that because you're still standing and you're smiling. He has blessed you despite the situation. And this church, there's nothing more to say but the Lord gave his life. So our money means nothing to you, but it means a lot to the kingdom of God to advance the kingdom. So we're giving God some praise even tonight. Amen. We give him some praise. Hallelujah. So as you hold your tithes and your offering, understand the Lord has made it able for you to sow. The Lord has blessed you. He's brought you through. And Father, we give you praise this morning for every 10 cents and every 10 million rand that is sown into the kingdom of God. We call forth the blessing from heaven, Father, that you'll bless the widow. You'll bless the multi-millionaire because you love a cheerful giver. Today, as we step and cross over tonight, Father, we know we're crossing over into better. We know we're crossing over into blessings. We know our finances are about to be overflowing in 2024. And we'll hear all the rumors and all the dire things that's happening. But we, the children of God that are chosen, will be blessed into overflow. I speak finances. I speak good measure. Press down, shaking together. Let men bring into your bosom. Let your bank accounts tick over even before the new year. And we pray the blessing of God that makes rich and adds no sorrow. As you give today, we thank you that Christ Kingdom Ministry, his partners have been faithful. And we give God the praise for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Get ready to worship our Jesus, our King Jesus, the only true and living God. And we have come to worship and honor Him this morning. There is power and there is healing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus, in this place. Thank you, Lord.
Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy, Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus.
Jesus 
of the Lord and we give you praise we give you praise we glorify you and we honor you for your goodness your grace your mercy your unending love but more so we exalt you for you are the greater I am you are the mighty wonders day and we bless your name there is no greater than Jesus there is no greater than Yahweh and we bless you we bless you we bless you so this morning as we continue we declare Jesus Christ is Lord over the service and so may the name of Jesus be lifted up may the name of Yahweh be exalted amongst us and so this morning I thank you for the anointing father this day as your servant will bring a word again of encouragement into the house of the Lord on this last Sunday of the year 2023 and so this morning I decrease that you increase so may you be glorified even through your word. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you. You may take your seat. Beloved, greetings in the sovereign and mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And today I welcome you into the sanctuary of the Lord. It's so good to see you on the last Sunday of 2023. And so I trust that even this morning that you will be blessed as we're going to get focused again tonight, we're going to prepare and there's a word that is going to be released. So those of you who are joining us in media, please join us tonight at 10 p.m. That will be live. Uh, I'm also, uh, as we're going to worship the Lord, but also for the word and the prayer that will launch us into 2024. His word always carries us through and we give him praise this day. And so it's good to have you. We trust that you had a, a blessed Christmas. Amen. And I know you're going to have a great New Year. And I hear amen. Hallelujah. So good that we are alive and kicking. The Lord brought us through. And so this morning, as I'm going to share the word of the Lord, and I think very appropriate for this day of the Lord, which I also want to declare a day of thanksgiving and praise that we are here. And the title of the message is, But the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. The Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. In Jeremiah 20, 11, that's where I took the title. That's how it is. He's with me like a mighty warrior. Though you don't see him, he's over you. Though you, you don't see him by your side. And though you don't see him, he's inside. And though you don't see him, he's all around. He never leaves, nor forsakes. And it is written, 
For the Lord God, for the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior. The Amplified says, but the Lord is with me as a dread champion, as one who is to be greatly feared. The CEV translation says, but you, Lord, are a mighty soldier standing by my side. The Message Bible says, but God, a most fierce warrior, is at my side done it in different translations so you can understand the position we have with God. And that is the key of our victory today. Beloved, what an awesome declaration that the Lord is with me like a mighty warrior because the mighty God, our mighty warrior is with us because the Lord Jesus is with you and I we have made it thus far. We have come to the conclusion of the year of the Lord 2023. Through it all, He was by our side. And today we declare, this is our day of victory and triumph. This is the day of our success. We have made it another year. For the hand of the Lord was upon us. His grace carried us through it all. And so we can say hallelujah. Yes. The answers to your prayers may be still pending. For some of you. You may be still in the midst of great struggles and sufferings. You may be in debt. Your family may be still broken down. You may be unemployed. But the word of the Lord is, as we declared the whole year, that you will stand. And so you are still standing. You know why? Because the Lord, your God, is with you like a mighty warrior. He's by your side. You are still alive. He hasn't forsaken you. You are here on the 31st of December 2023 in the house of the Lord. The good news is you are still filled with purpose. You are still filled with hope. You are still filled with destiny that the enemy cannot take out of you. You are still praising God. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Hope is still intact. Promises are waiting to be fulfilled. We, beloved, on this eve are still believing. Our joy, our peace is still intact. You know why? Because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace over our lives. Somebody give him praise. Give him praise. It ain't over. Can I hear amen? There is more. The Lord has brought us through it all. Testings, trials, through tears, through loss and difficulties. The Lord was with us. Today, beloved, tell your neighbor is a day worthy of celebration. Come on, let us give the Lord a praise offering, somebody. We are here. You know, when you consider for a moment, Every now and again, it seems to come to my mind when I'm here outside this pulpit and we're praying in the morning. And sometimes we give, many a times we give God thanks for it. Beloved, there's so much to be grateful <clears throat> because of the divine interventions 
and divine orchestrations of God over your life every day. Angels are fighting for you. The blood they standing over you. The hand of God upon you. Keeping the hand of the enemy away. Shutting the powers of darkness away from you. Telling you, favoring you. Giving you the strength when you have no strength. Giving you a hope to get up every day. Bringing joy in the midst of it all. I tell you what, he deserves every praise. He deserves every worship. Man, if there's anything God loves, is somebody call you. Serious, man. You know, I, I, I love nature. See, I, I love the creation of God. When I consider the mountain and the, the seas and, and everything, the animals, the birds, when I look at the constellations, when you look at everything, they, the minute details of, 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 of the creative uh, uh, part of God over it. But... And you know what? Such magnificence and beauty. I love Nash National Geographic. I follow it all the time. I just think it's boring, but it just keeps my mind good. But there's something amongst the greatest beauty of all, Kelvin. Is he loves you beyond it all. You are here because he loves you. You made it because he loves you. You are too special for him. In your naughtiness, he loves you. Sometimes in your backslidden state, he loves you. He deserves the glory. And this morning, I want to go through the experience of Jeremiah that you and I can relate to in our present time of troubles, especially those who, whose prayers were not answered yet. And the story is taken from Jeremiah chapters 19 and 20. But I'm focusing on chapter 20 of Jeremiah. Chapter 20 reading from 1 to 10 that I love to read from the New King James Version. Now Pasha the son of Emma, the priest, who was also the chief governor in the house of the Lord, had heard that Jeremiah prophesied these things. I think it's very important to understand this word firstly. There is one who is the priest. The chief governor. The priest and the chief governor. The story starts. And he heard the servant of God bringing the voice of God to the open. Now let us, you understand that because that's a key. So we don't forget. And then two. Then, uh, uh, Pasha struck Jeremiah the prophet. Why? Because he heard the word of the Lord. And it was not according to what he wanted. Are you getting this? And what he does, instead of receiving the word, he beat the prophet up. And he threw the prophet in prison. And to add worse to it, I mean, his, 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 his anger towards correction. His anger towards the word that was going to set the nation free. That was going to deliver the people from the trials to come. His anger was so great that he could receive a word that convicted him so bad. That he could punch the prophet in his face. The servant of God was delivering the word. And throw him into prison. And furthermore, put him in stocks. Two beams where you sit down, you put your feet in the two beams. So you're stuck, you can't even move. And some of them, I don't know, you even put your hands like this. So whole day, your hands and your feet. You can't even, we, you can't do nothing. You do it, you do it all on yourself. Why? Because he heard the word of the Lord that was not the way he wanted it. But he didn't know that if he only obeyed the voice of God, nations would be set free. Families will be delivered. So he struck. Let's just go. I'm just getting a bit excited the word. 
verse 3. And it happened on the next day that Pasha brought Jeremiah out of the stocks. Then Jeremiah said to him, The Lord has not called your name Pasha, but Mago Misabib. And that is, I'll give you the translation uh, later. And for thus says the Lord, Behold, I will make you a terror to yourself and all your friends. The Lord is telling him. He says, hear the word of the Lord now. You, because you did that, I will make you a terror to who? Not to me, but to yourself. It is going to come back and bite you. It is going to come back and destroy you. It will be a terror to you and your whole family. Your family will experience that. And they shall fall by the sword. And their enemies. And your eyes shall see it. I will give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon. He said, what I meant to give you, I'm giving it to someone else. The blessing that was supposed to come to you, I'm giving it to someone else. You know why? Because you rejected it. I'll give all to Judah, the king of Babylon. And he shall carry them into captivity to Babylon and slay them by the sword. Let's go to the next one. Verse 5. Let me move further. Uh, let's go to verse 6. And you, Pasha, and all you dwell in the house shall go in captivity. You shall go in Babylon, and there you shall die and be buried there. And you and all your friends to whom you have prophesied lies. Verse 7. Oh, Lord. Now watch this, Jeremiah. Listen to me. This man caught it for giving the word of the Lord. He, he, he caught it. You understand? He, if you, you'll hear and then he comes to a place and said, Oh Lord, you induce me. That means you deceive me. You gave me this word to speak. You finish me, Lord. You deceive me, Lord. And I was, I was so persuaded I was deceived. You are stronger than I. And, and you have prevailed over me. That means, Lord, that anointed me couldn't stop me speaking. And now I got deceived by speaking the word. He says, I am ridiculed all day for speaking. Everyone mocks me. For when I spoke, I cried out a shout of, a shout of violence and plunder because the word of the Lord was made to me a reproach and derision. Daily said, your word brought me a reproach. Can you imagine the prophet is now saying, Yo, your word brought me a, a reproach. I was deceived by speaking your word. Then I said, I will not make mention of him nor speak any more his name. He said, I will not speak the name of, I will not even mention anything of the Lord. But, but, his word was in my heart like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I was weary of holding it back. Be, be, apart from the clouds, apart from the tragedy, I was weary. I could not hold it anymore. I could not hold it back. And I could not. For I heard the mocking from every side. Report, they say, and we will report it. Says all my acquaintances watch for my stumbling. <laughs> when I spoke the word, they said, Yo, you'll see this man. Let's see. Perhaps they, he can be induced. Then we can prevail against him. And we will take refuge on him. Beloved, the words we declare that were declared by the prophet Jeremiah in the midst of his greatest heartache. In a time when he felt God abandoned him. He was even beaten and thrown into prison. All because he was prophesying the word of God. He was releasing the word the Lord had given him to release to the people. And he caught it. But the people turned against the word. He suffered. The servant of God suffered for proclaiming the word of the Lord. People left his church. <laughs> they left his church. You know why? He's speaking the word of God. But they never understand the glory of that word wants to save them. I want you to understand here, right and now, God's word is never to ridicule. God's word is never to destroy. It can chastise, but never to destroy. 
God's word, when the stronger the word means he loves you so much, he does not want you to fall and miss out on your glory. Can I hear? Amen. Sometimes people, they think, hey, pastors are knocking you. He's not knocking you. Can I hear? Amen. Amen. Jeremiah came to a place where he felt that speaking and prophesying the word of God brought no results. For a moment he was so discouraged that he declared in verse 7, Oh Lord, you deceived me and I was deceived. Because I'm ridiculed all day long. Everyone is now talking the word I gave and said, we'll see. We'll see if this will work. We'll see if it's going to work. He says, the, the ESV says, I became a laughing stock. I'm ridiculed all day. And everyone mocks me for believing the word of God and declaring it. He was mocked. You know why? Because there was no immediate results. In fact, he experienced the opposite of what the word says. He was now downcast. I mean, he, he felt abandoned, betrayed. Lord, I, I mean, how can you give me this word, Lord? The church was always be built now. It's falling apart. People are leaving. They don't like me. This is what Jeremiah is saying. Now watch this. You don't. Pastor, not talking about himself now. I can see some anointings now. I, I'm reading the word. I'm reading the word. Please get the word, all right? I'm leading to this somewhere because it's a, it's a last day and I want you to be blessed. Are we getting this? I am talking about those who never get the miracle yet and got partial miracles and you downcast. I'm also speaking about you. I'm using Jeremiah as you. Are you hearing this? I'm using Jeremiah as you. So try and get, grasp this word. How many of you heard the word of the Lord? Time and time again, you have been given a prophecy. You have believed the word of God with all your heart. You stood in faith. You declared it over your life day and night. Family and friends and neighbors have heard you speak the promises of God. They have seen the faithfulness of God. They've seen your faithfulness to God. You have been faithful to the church. They have seen you walking and carrying your Bible. You get in knocks at home, but in the morning you're looking beautiful. Amen. And you come into church. They have seen it. They've been watching. Neighbors been watching. They've been watching. They've been watching the debt collectors also come into your house. They've been watching all these guys taking your things away. Whatever it is, they've been watching. But also they've been watching in the midst of it all. You've been faithful in the midst of it all. You stood the test. They've been watching. But nothing happened yet. Pastor prophesied till he had no more spit left. We, we, we prayed till we had no strength left. Come on, all the pastors prayed. We said breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. But all that happened that you broke down. Some are even mocking and laughing at you. Why? Because you believe in the word. You're so stubborn. You're so stubborn. The word gave to you that you took it. That, that even your family, your, your, your whatever, your spouse, every your children said, you're mad, you're mad, you're mad. Come on. You, I mean, you're being mad. They're laughing at you. Say, where is God? Where is God? Say, where is God's promises? The prophet prophesied lies to you. The preacher gave false promises. You're probably saying all your faith and prayers and declarations are for nothing. You're fasting. All the days of fasting. Hey, how we pushed. We pushed night and day and day and night. We pushed. We were dancing. We were trusting God. Yo, but nothing. But nothing. I'm speaking on behalf of some of you. With Jeremiah, things were now getting even worse. In verse 10, the second par paragraph says, All my acquaintances... All my familiar friends, everyone I trusted, watch for my stumbling, watch for my fall. Because I stood on this word and I'm releasing it, I'm stubborn, I'm releasing it. You're losing your job, I'm still giving the same word. They're saying you got cancer, I'm still giving you the same word. They're saying whatever it is, I'm still giving you the same word. And they were laughing. He says, even the familiar friends. Number 10, go read the word. That's what Jeremiah says. They watch for me to fall. 
watching to see the word I spoke lead to my downfall. But suddenly, tell your neighbor, suddenly, there's a suddenly. Tell your neighbor, there's a suddenly. Suddenly, in the midst of all opposition and mockery, after a temporary loss of faith, after all the crying now, after all the crying, this one said that, this one said that. After all that suddenly, after a temporary loss of faith, Jeremiah encourages himself in faith and trusts in God's word. Despite what was happening to him and around him, with renewed faith, he makes an awesome declaration. That's what I pray for you. He said in verse 9, but God's word, but his word in the midst of it, when they say give up, when they say quit, when they say don't go to that Tuesday night meeting, it, it, it is, it, it, there was a word they used here, I've forgotten now. I thank God that I forgot it. Tuesday night meeting, they're saying all these things now. You understand? They talk about our prayers and talk about that. People even say, I pray too loud. And, hey, sorry, man. Make the TV softer. You know there's a remote control. I don't know if you know, Jay. You can make it softer. People got anointing to say everything, but they can't make it softer. Make it softer. Beloved, I say to you, they, they said, forget Tuesday night meetings. But his word, that word inside of me, could not stand down. That word of God inside of me was burning like fire. It is shut up in my bones. They're telling me keep quiet, but I can't keep quiet any longer. Blanket or no blanket, I am going to believe. I'm going to praise God. I'm going to give him my best. Are you hearing? Some of you are like that. They're telling all these things, but inside of you is burning this word. Inside of you is that faith that they hang on. I don't know what, what is happening, but I believe his word. I don't know all the suffering. I don't know whatever it is, but I am believing. But I am believing because you know why? I can't shut up. His word is so strong inside of me. The word, I cannot hold it anymore. But I'm compelled. I'm compelled to speak. I'm paraphrasing. God said it. No matter what I'm standing. Everyone got the breakthrough but me nothing. I am standing. Because his word is burning. When they said no because you got sin in your heart, you never get it. I am still standing because his word is burning inside of me. Can I hear amen? I'm fully convinced. I believe he said it. I believe it will come to pass. Beloved, this word here with Jeremiah, God fulfilled his word. What he said to pastor. God fulfilled his word and brought destruction to push her. As he said, God brought deliverance. Many a times, I want to say to you, the message of God cannot be silenced. God's word will always triumph. It will be fulfilled in the time according to the plans of God. Just look at Devendry there. Five months in intensive care or nearly six months. But I love the amazing thing. We were standing with them and the church was. But the amazing thing, our husband, Russia, hey, if I saw a man turn overnight with his love for his wife to fight, he could have easily quit. First week, first month, third month, fourth month. It was getting worse. But every time I visit him, he's got the word. He's got the word. He had a word. Every time I visit him, he got a word. Pastor, let's pray the same word. The woman is there sitting right here and worshiping God. She was stubborn. Are you getting this thing now? It never happened. Pastors came. We all stood together. We fasted and prayed. Yes, God was working. That's what I want you to understand. God was working. Every time the word was going, Gary, it was working. 
I didn't see it, but it was working. I don't know what it was doing internally, but it was working. I don't know what it was doing outside, but it was working. Every assignment of death, every assignment of darkness, but the word was working. I didn't see it now, but it was working. I didn't see it now, but it was working. I tell you what, everyone is giving up, but I say this word is working. It is working, it is working. At the time came, the glory of God was revealed. Beloved, what I can say to you this. Many times ministers of the word and prophets and the congregation get discouraged. You know why? Because they stand firm on God's word. They speak it, they declare it and decree it. Yet all it seems to happen is the opposite. Because of this, many despise it and reject it. But our God is not a liar. How's that? Our God is never a liar. His word is his honor. His word will come to pass at the determined time. Can I hear that? Amen. Below all I say to you, hang in. Don't hang up on God. Hang in till he breaks forth. Hang in till he breaks forth. I've seen miracle upon miracle, not only in this church, all over through family and friends and loved ones. The doctors give you a report that is whatever. We go and push. We are pushing. We are fasting. We are praying day and night. We're pushing. Sometimes we can't even see anything. But suddenly, what the doctor thought is impossible becomes possible. And I'm encouraging you. Discouragement comes when you give your all and you don't see results. Isn't that his natural? Come on, somebody. It can eat a hole in your heart. It can make you quit. It can make you give up on the promises of God because everyone around you is blessed but you. And you look at yourself, why me, Lord? It makes you give up. Proclaiming the word of God takes away your strength. But see what Psalms 43, 5, the psalmist declared the NIV, why am I discouraged? He comes to a place when he scolds himself. And he speaks to himself. He prophesies to himself. He said, why? Why? Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? Why am I downcast? He said, I will put on hope in God. For I will yet praise him. In the midst of it all. He said, I will put hope in God. And I will yet praise him. Yet more and more and more. Why are you agitated and depressed? Cast down. The psalmist turns his discouragement into worship. Turns his discouragement and complaints into joyful praise. And he encourages himself to trust in the Lord. I encourage you, beloved. Every time there is worship. Every time there is praise. It's going to be your greatest victory and greatest breakthrough. When you will raise your hand. In the midst of your suffering, in the midst of all the challenges you had, and you can dance before the Lord, I will tell you it is the greatest weapon that you can have. And many of us are being still. We're scared to worship the Lord. But I pray 2024, there will be a liberty for everyone. I want to hear everyone worshiping the Lord. And everyone giving praise. Can I hear amen? We were not born for silence. Our mouth was meant to worship. Our mouth was meant to prophesy. Our mouth was meant to announce and declare and decree. Our mouth was meant to speak words of blessing and wisdom and edification. Can I hear amen somebody? Hallelujah. This enabled him to triumph. The key also to Jeremiah's breakthrough in Jeremiah 20:13. He said, sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he had delivered my life for, uh, of the poor. He had delivered the life of the poor and the needy and from evildoers. And that's what's going to happen to you. When you praise the Lord, he will deliver your life from the oppressors. He will deliver your life from the wicked. Can I hear amen? Hallelujah. Your defeated attitude. Let me tell you today. Before we get in tonight. Because tonight is breakthrough. For breaking out. 
for 2024. Your defeated attitude needs to uh, turn to praise and triumph today. Can I hear an amen, somebody? I said your defeated attitude needs to turn around. You're not walking out here being defeated. It, God, you never get your breakthrough. You're not going to walk out here defeated. Like Jeremiah. Yes, you say, the Lord deceived me. For a moment, yes, we're all human. He said, the Lord has failed me. But then suddenly, you arise and declare, Father, I can't keep quiet anymore. It is burning inside of me. I must speak your word again. I'm going to speak your word again. Yet more and more. Praise is a weapon that Christians, in the Christian's arsenal, against which Satan has no defense. Praise acknowledges God is in charge. God is in control. That's what your praise does. When you praise, your heart no longer fears the outcome. Praise stirs up your faith. <coughs> Beloved, I say to you, give no room for complaining and murmuring and doubting. 2024, uh, we're going to sanctify the tongue. We are the prophets of our own life. Prophets of blessing and doom. We speak more hurts than blessings. Isn't that reality? You see, one of the things is <clears throat> we can't shy away from truth. If you've got a cancer, we'll tell people, hey, we've got cancer, you're depressed. They're all going to feel sorry with you. As we too. But we pray with you. But what's this here? <coughs> tell that person there. Now, I'm not saying you mustn't tell anyone. You're close family. You tell that one. That one's going to tell. The other one, you tell this one, hey, you know what? I've got cancer. I'm trusting God but for my healing. That other one will go and say, shoot, you heard the news. That one got cancer. Doctor gave only four months. Only four months to live. Sure. Only four months. I feel sorry for her. That one went and told that one. That one went and told her. Now you got a thousand people prophesying death. Four months. God. Someone make it you're going to tomorrow. You know how it changes now? You got a thousand people prophesying death. And you only got a few pastors and you prophesying life. Are we getting this thing? And we suffer because we are foolish. I'm not saying don't speak. Now listen to me. It doesn't mean to say I don't tell the pastor, tell the, our friends we can trust. But what happens when you speak? I'm suffering, I'm suffering. You, it, it spreads. You've got more words against you than for you. 2024, we're not going to have that. Can I hear amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. Beloved, let me just skip a whole lot. Although Jeremiah, in his weakness, went on to complain. If you read chapters, uh, verse 14 to 18, in chapter 20. But he still continued to prophesy. Beloved, on this last day of 2023, I want to say to every one of you, leave the complaining behind. And believe God's word is true. Don't kill. As we go into 2024, don't kill the prophets. Don't kill God's servants. Is that alright? Many of you have benefited from the word of the Lord through the servants of God. Many of you have benefited from the prayers from the servants of God. Yet, some still choose Give you the word what Jeremiah says. Still choose to speak against the ones that blessed you. God sees and knows all things. But I say to you as we step into 2024, don't miss out on your future blessings. Don't be the one that watches for the servants of God to stumble and fall. But bless them that you can be blessed. Can I hear amen? 
Don't miss your miracle. Don't delay your miracle. Some of you get put off when the word breakthrough over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Not realizing that all the while the word was working for you. It brought you through 2023 and it will take you through 2024. Many of you do not realize that our great God was reminding us constantly not to give up. Breakthrough will come. Many did not realize that all the while God was threatening you. He was encouraging your faith because he knows if you don't hear this word, you're going to fall. You're going to give up and you're going to quit. But the word came breakthrough. The word came breakthrough. The word came breakthrough and you believe and it made you stand. You believe and it made you stand. It believed and it took you through another day. It believed and it took you through another month. You believe and it took you through 2023. Everything we prayed and prophesied, we declared and decreed in his word. We were tearing down the blockages and the opposition against us. And paving a way in the realm of the spirit for miracles, deliverance and breakthrough. I don't know if you're understanding that. Every time we pushed in prayer and gave the word, we we're flattening some mountain before you. I pray you will not come to a place where of unbelief and doubt. You will not come to a place of rejecting the word of God spoken through his servants. How many of you wanted to give up? But you couldn't. Despite it all, the word was burning. Something in you, the Holy Ghost in you said, hey, this, uh, uh, this, this word is strong in you. You will stand, you will stand, you will stand, you will stand. You can't keep silent anymore because the spirit of the Lord was convicting you to forge ahead and go forward. Beloved, the enemy may laugh at us. You may be called losers. But like Jeremiah, we cannot hold the word back despite no results. Watch this here. Soon and very soon, like Jeremiah, we will declare the word in verse 11. It says, watch this here. In the end, this is what it says. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, awesome one. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble and they will not prevail. They will be greatly ashamed for they will not prosper. The everlasting confusion will never be forgotten. Hallelujah. Yo, somebody give the Lord a praise. I mean, I don't know if you even understand how awesome that word is. How awesome. There's a declaration, Jay. But the Lord was with me like a mighty and awesome one. Amen. The light, uh, Lord tried to take him out. I think, was it this year or last year? Two years ago. Time just flies. But the Lord was with you. The Lord is with you. Young man, the Lord is with you. I heard you ended up in hospital. And the Lord is with you. The enemy wants to take you out, but the Lord is with you. You know why? The word has been fighting for you. The word has been fighting for you. So you're not going to give up on nothing. Can I hear? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, our God is a present tense God. So today I'm going to say to those of you, you never get your breakthrough. Wait. It's coming. Wait, it's coming. Can I hear? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, the one who rejects the word of God, Jeremiah 21 and 2. If you read Jeremiah 21 and 2, you'll find that. The one who rejects the voice of the word of God was not outsiders, but from the house of God. That's where it was written. He studied that word. The priest. There, the priest. He was the key guy. Rejected the word of the Lord. And I say to you, please, I'd rather you reject me as a pastor, but don't reject his word. How's that? Don't cast me out. I'm just saying now. <clears throat> Don't vote me out. <clears throat> Beloved, I have a word for you. <clears throat> if the word of God is false, so it's, it's important to understand that, by all means, 
cast it out. Are you hearing? Because sometimes you, if it's a false prophet or something comes, then the pastor says, must don't reject it. You need to understand where I'm giving the scripture. If the word of God is true, take it. If you don't understand, then ask the spirit to confirm it. Then all the while, just be silent till the Holy Spirit confirms it. If he tells you otherwise, do what the Holy Spirit says. Can I hear amen? You know why? Uh, 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 uh. Don't speak against word because God is jealous of his word. Because he is the word. Can you understand what I'm saying now? In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Don't speak against the word because the word is God. Now I know it may sound a bit harsh when we talk here about the people in the house rejects it. I'm giving you, I'm reading the word of the Lord. Please understand that. Okay. The outside is not here to reject it. <clears throat> Don't miss out. I'm going to say that let us going to end well. I have good news for you. Everybody now, I know you're happy for good news. To you and all of you who believe, as a servant of God, I stand here and I declare to you as always as it was in 2023, it's going to be in 2024 and beyond. For the battle is the Lord's and the victory is ours. Let the word of God fight for you. Let the battle be the Lord's. Can I hear amen? Having done all, stand. Having done all, stand. Stop crying. Stop weeping. Stop going into your closet. Some of you stay in your room day and night, night and day. You're even angry with the TV. You don't want. I want to say 2024, 24, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Give the Lord a praise. Let his word fight for you. Blessings must come. Breakthroughs is going to come. I declare Genesis 28, 15. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised. Wow. Come on, somebody. God is absolutely steadfast. Don't ever doubt it. God ain't quitting on you. God ain't quitting on you. Therefore, you ain't quitting on his word. Can I hear amen? He promised he will do whatever is necessary to fill his, fulfill his promise to you and I. I say stay in faith. I want to say to you today, so don't dare to quit on God's promises. Are you hearing the word of the Lord? You watching on TV, I don't care how bad it is. You don't dare quit on the word of the living God. It is our only hope. It is our only hope of breakthrough. Can I hear amen? Back up to three. But in the end it will speak. And it will not lie. Some of you, though your answer tarries, Though your answer delays, wait for it. Wait for it because it will surely come. It will surely come and it will not trust and it will not tarry. It hastens towards the goal of fulfillment. I can tell you something. Answers are hastening towards you. It is hastening towards its fulfillment. You know why it's been released already? It's hastening towards its fulfillment. Somebody tell your neighbor, it's coming. Hallelujah. It's coming. Amen. Beloved, I pray every one of you will be able to say, as it is written in Acts 26, 22, but I have had help that comes from the Lord this day. I have had help from God to this day. Be encouraged this day. Everyone, be encouraged. Tell your neighbor, be encouraged. The Lord is with you. Like a mighty warrior. Tell your neighbor, the Lord is with you. Like a mighty warrior. He's 
by your side. He will never leave you. He brought you through 2023. He's going to take you through with better options and more blessings in 2024. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Now don't look at your spouse and say, hey, praise God, I'm going to go for better options. And I know, I can see how the minds are working. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Beloved, and so it is done. Don't give up. Don't give up on our only hope that is Jesus Christ and his word. Everything else pales it. My own counsel fails. My own everything fails. But his word will be your delight. And his word will be your joy. Hebrews said, I will never leave nor forsake you. And so this day God fulfilled in Jeremiah 15, 21, the last scripture, the Amplified says, the Lord declared to Jeremiah, so I will rescue out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem you from the grasping palm of the terrible and ruthless tyrant. And the Lord did that. With him we're going to make it. I got a word to say that God is going to fulfill his word over your life. In 2024. This morning as I was praying I said, hey Lord, it's not over yet. How many of you know the year is not finished yet? It finishes at midnight, 12 bells. Calvin, much can happen. One day is like a thousand and a thousand in a moment, in a moment, in a moment. Listen to me, some of you, you can have your breakthrough today. While you're having lunch, while you're having a nap, your break, you know why? The, the prayers are alive and active in heaven. The hours of prayer, sissy. The hours of prayer. Is it going to die? It was done from a pure heart. As the servants of the living God. Calvin, you're going to die. Today is a day it can happen. And if it doesn't, I gave you a word. Like Jeremiah. Stop crying. Encourage yourself. And then say to yourself, His promise he gave me is burning like fire. Inside of me. Shut up in my bones. Amen. If you cut me now, you will hear the blood prophesying. Breakthrough. Breakthrough is coming. Come on. Hallelujah, Moses. I am saying today is the day. It's not over. I'm declaring by faith as a servant of God what God meant to happen and fulfill in the year 2023. It's going to happen in 2023. I believe that. I don't come the whole year without doubting. Can I hear amen? Gary, you know what it can be? You'll say it's a holiday. Nothing is going to happen. This, that, that. I'm not interested in all that. I'm interested in what God does. God got no holiday. He can do it. I'm, I'm encouraging you. He can do it. Some of you, you want healing. Healing can happen tonight. People can help. I can. Whatever your need is, I want to say my God is able can I hear? Amen. Auntie Millie, he gave us the word. He gave us his word. We're taking it. On this New Year's Eve, we're taking it. By his stripes, we are healed. We're taking it. Can I hear? Amen. I'm taking my financial breakthrough, Maxwell. I'm taking my financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Kevin, we take it. Can I hear? Amen. Bro, we're taking it. We're taking it. I call him. Uh, uh, what's his face? I'm taking it that hospital. I'm taking it for Mika. I'm taking it. Can I hear Gary? We are taking it. Are you, you, are you taking it? If you don't, I will hit you. Are you taking it? You will take it. Can I hear? Amen. We're taking it. Hallelujah. Love, I'm saying that because you don't want to give up. Because you, you can lose the hours and go home. Your miracle can happen. Don't work it out. He can do it. It's already done. It just needs to manifest. Let us stand right now. Come on. Hallelujah. Let us stand. Let us stand. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we give you glory. We give you complete up. We give you glory. Come. Praise and worship team if you're still around. If you haven't raptured, come here. Come here quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us worship the Lord. Let us worship the Lord. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen to me. Everyone, I want to do it again today on this special day. Everyone that still waiting for their full manifestation. Some of you had partial. I had partial. I'm waiting like you. I'm, I was like Jeremiah crying, finished crying and killing myself. That's why I can prophesy again. Can I hear amen? If you need it, come forward. If you need it, say, Lord, today I'm taking my encouragement. Today the word is going to burn like fire in me. Can I hear amen? Come forward, come forward quickly. All our pastors, come stand with me. Come stand with me. Come, beloved, come on. That's how it's so far. Come, 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 come. Hallelujah. You believe. Those of you watching, you believe. If you never get your breakthrough, not, it can happen even today. It can happen today. If not, it's going to happen. I want you to believe. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. The word is going to happen. Can I hear amen? Hallelujah. Everybody come closer to the front. Come closer to the front. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come quickly. You want a miracle run. Come on. Come on, somebody. You left too much on Christmas. I can see now. Hallelujah. my God. And we honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We lift up your name, O oh Lord. We glorify your name. Hey, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We bless you, Lord, oh my soul. We exalt you. You are the King eternal, the mighty God, the one who is able we give you the glory, we give you the glory, we give you the glory, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I bless you, Lord. Somebody just worship the Lord. And I give him the glory, and I give him the praise. Our trust and hope is in you, Jesus. Our hope is in you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now watch it. I am declaring, I am declaring that no one is going to be sad entering 2024. I am declaring that joy will return, peace will return, and strength will return. I am declaring what the enemy has meant for evil, God will turn it on for good. I am declaring I am declaring blessing upon blessing. I am praying your breakthrough will come in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, he gave us a word that every blessing of God is A and Amen. Today I want you to know he loves you. You can't go into 2024 without knowing you are loved by the Lord. I want you to know he loves you. And I want you to know right now, he knows your problem. It's coming. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody in the front, raise your hand. In fact, everybody raise your hand. Hallelujah. It's coming. I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Gary just to pray. I'm just going to keep it short. Then we can have others to pray. Maxwell can follow. Robert Clive can follow. Just give us a few minutes. Each one is going to keep it short. But let's just pray. Whatever you heard the word today, we ask you for God's breakthrough. That the Lord will strengthen and encourage them, their faith in whatever it is. Let's just pray. Let us raise your hand and we'll receive this right now. Almighty God, in the wonderful and mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Father, today, Lord, I take authority, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. And I declare, Father, victory in Jesus' mighty name. Today, Father, I take authority, Lord, in your mighty name, my Jesus. Yes. And I declare the name of the Lord is a mighty warrior yes. before every enemy that stands before us today. Father, today, in the name of Jesus, I take authority and I call on the God of the 11th hour. I say, Father, today is the last day of the year, Lord. And even though we have not received our miracle, even though we have not received our breakthrough, but today, Father, we pray to the God of the 11th hour. And I say breakthrough for us, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Today I declare, Father, every hindrance be swept aside in Jesus' mighty name. 
I declare today, Father, every obstacle be yes. cast aside in Jesus' mighty Jesus name. name. Did I declare, Father, every ploy of the enemy be brought to light in Jesus' Jesus mighty name. name. Yes. Father, I declare today, Lord, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And today, Father, the righteous run into you, Lord, where we are safe. Yes. Father, I declare today in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, victory is ours, Lord, over every obstacle, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Father, today, Lord, we take authority. In the name of the mighty warrior of Jesus Christ, Father. In the name of the never failing God, Jesus Christ. In the name of the one who is, who was, and who is yet to come, Lord. I declare victory, Father, over in God's Jesus people. Name. In Jesus, Jesus' mighty name. Give him praise, church, and give him glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. Thou art the God of the last minute, God of the eleventh hour. Amen. My Father, we thank you for these hours that do remain before we cross over into 2024. Yes, yes, yes. Our hope and trust and faith is still in you. In Jesus' name. You are a God that can even raise the dead. Yes. We are believing in you unto this day. Over everyone. But Father, even the United United of Christ. us. We believe is crossing over empty-handed. In Jesus' name, for the divine Father, when they cross over the Red Sea, yes, there was celebration. Mm. There was a jubilee. They were rejoicing. Yes, their eyes saw their enemies drowning. Yes, and they were confident. Yes, that God is with them. Yes. We are praying for the same miracle. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Yes. My Father, I pray, let there be confusion in the camp of our enemies. In Jesus name. May they drown. May they drown. May they drown. In the name of Jesus, we ask of your hand to be upon us. We ask of you, my Father, to be by our side in the name of Jesus. May our finances yes. be resurrected. In Jesus May marriages be resurrected. May relationships be brought in back Jesus to name. life. May every business, every job be name. resurrected. May every healthy that has been giving problems in our lives be resurrected the in the name of, of Jesus God and resurrected of our lives. Father, we thank you we for thank you, every promise. Yes. You will see to it that it comes to pass in Jesus' name. Father, the servant of God has spoken today, Father. We receive that word. We declare you the God of suddenly. You're the God of the breakthrough. You're the God of the now, Father. We declare the year is not yet over, Lord. Even before we meet in the next 12 hours, I declare and decree we will have testimonies already, Father. It's 10 o'clock right now in the morning. By 10 this evening, we'll have testimonies upon testimonies that the word that was spoken has come forth. Father, we stand on this word yeah. this morning. We believe that the Lord has spoken. We believe it's about to happen today. And we stand on this holy ground and say we take it now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, we're going to conclude uh, with a worship song. Our pastors can stand here. Uh, Maxwell will uh, release the final blessings. But tonight is a special night. We have a word and we we will trust God for prayer something not prepared. But we believe in God there will be a word that will release over everyone. In fact, you invite somebody tonight. Phone the guys. I know many are on holiday, but invite them for tonight. That tonight we will release the word of God that God has placed in my heart. And we're going to pray over you for 2024. That I'm believing God that there will be a shifting there will be a shifting that will take place in 2024 over our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, the praise and worship got a song. Let us going to do that.
that you rise up and worship. I thank you, Lord. Your great weapon is I thank you, Lord, for hearing me. Jesus said, I thank you for hearing me. Miracle started. And I hear amen. Hallelujah. So I want to see, everyone, can you give me a smile? I want to see someone. Some of you are not. Some of you, come on. I want to see your teeth. Now, come on. Let's see you smile. Let it, jeez. Come on, smile. That's how we're going to give the Lord a praise. Come on, we're going to go happy. is we have a pastoral team in this house who have dedicated our time to stand with you through it all and we will push 
Even when you are weak, we will push. How's that? Even when you are weak, we will push. That you will see the end of your faith. God bless you. We're going to get prepared to see you tonight. Uh, Pastor Maxwell will raise your hand as you receive the benediction. Oh, yes. Uh, just before I pray. Tonight. The garbage truck is coming tonight. To carry all your burdens. To carry all the loads. To carry all the worries. The garbage truck is coming tonight. Ah. Bring all your garbage. It is all done. It is all done. It is all done. We trust in the almighty God. The one who has not failed us. The one who will not fail us. I say, the garbage truck is coming tonight. To carry all your burdens. He has done it on the cross. And he will do it again. He is overcome. And he will overcome. 2024 is the year of our breakthrough. Yes. Carry all your loads tonight. Carry all your loads tonight. Bring it here and the garbage truck will carry. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are God Almighty. You have not failed us. You will not fail us in the name of Jesus. I say, Father, yes, dear Lord, in those last moments, we have seen your hand. You have opened our eyes. Yes, to see. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, dear Lord. For you will deliver us tonight. Yes. You will speak tonight. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Go with us, Father God. Yes. yes, dear Lord. As we go through, Father God. Oh, yes, dear Lord. Everything that has happened in 2023, yes, Father God, we bring it to an end this evening. In the name of Jesus, you are a God who will not fail us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, dear Lord, for standing with us. Amen. Yes, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You will not leave nor Thank forsake you. us. Thank you are Thank with you. us till the end of time. Thank you. Thank you, my God. Yes. Father. Yes, dear Lord. I pray, Father, that dear Lord, as this, as we take these moments, mm. these few minutes, Father God, oh yes, these few hours, as we come back, Father. We say thank you. Yes, dear Lord. We say, dear Lord, you will take it away. Yes, Father, free us. Oh yes, Father, from all the burden of sickness, of lack, Father. You will deliver us. You Amen. will pour, Father Amen. God, into our bosom. We will receive. Amen. And yes, Father, you will fill Amen. us with joy. Thank you, my God. Yes. You will not fail us, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Amen. As we walk out, we walk out strong, knowing that yes. you are on our side. Yes. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Father. Oh, yes, dear Lord, heal our broken hearts. And Father, I pray, dear God, that Father, we will receive. We seal, we seal everything, Father, tonight by the blood of Jesus. For he has overcome for us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Receive, brethren. Receive now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. We're going to see you tonight at 10 p.m. Please invite somebody. Hallelujah.